Hello friends, it is Kelly back with another project for Cut To You. And we are still celebrating their second year in business. We are having a blog hop and all kinds of design inspiration over happening over on the, uh, the Cut To You blog, which I will link in the description box below. So you don't wanna miss out on any of the fun things that have been going on over there this month. So um, before I get started with the project, I kinda wanted to show you what I was gonna be using. This is my plan anyway, sometimes things don't go as planned, but I for sure will be using this gorgeous cut file. This is called uh, book stack background. So I will be backing this with some pattern paper. So, and doing lots of fun things with this awesome cut file. I don't know if you know, but my job during the school year is I am a librarian for an elementary school. So I love books. I love everything about books. So like I said in my previous video for my last project, anything you can dream of or imagine as far as a cut file goes, you're going to find it in Gwen's shop. So be sure to check that out and also be sure to um, be aware <laughs> of the cut shops sale that's going on and there's only this should this video should be going out on july 28th i believe so there's only a couple of more days to take advantage of the 20 percent off um, discount for everything in the shop and also i wanted to remind you guys that they ship worldwide so they are an australian based company but they ship worldwide and they will cut the designs for you if you don't have a silhouette or a cricket or you don't have time to mess with it but you want the look of cut files on your projects they will cut it's called custom cuts. They will cut it for you and ship it to you anywhere in the world. So, and this is a good time to take advantage of that 20% off discount. And I will link the code uh, below. Anyway, so let's get started with the layout. Um, this is my plan. Obviously, I'm using the cut file. I'll show you that again called Book Stacks, and I'll link this below as well. This is my daughter, not my daughter, my granddaughter, my daughter's daughter. Um, and we had worked on a project for school together before the whole COVID thing started happening. Um, she used, we used the book, A Unicorn Named Sparkle to, we liked the character Sparkle and we, the project was to decorate a pumpkin in your favorite character from a storybook. So that's what we did here. And the colors I felt like went really well with this paper from Chamel from the what collection is this. Heads in the cloud, I knew that. So this, I feel like this paper could not have been more perfect and well, look at these library card. This library card paper, I'll be using that. This ledger paper. Um, this is from the Cherry on Top Fancy Pants uh, collection. And then this happy birthday paper from Echo Park called Festive Floral. Those are, the, that's the plan. And then I have a, go figure, a library pocket. How perfect is that? And then I've, I've gotten these at Tuesday morning. They're just some court board pieces that I wanna use because they're all about reading and books. Book ner or nerd, I love to read, ABC123, bookworm. So 
I'm gonna try and get some of those used. And then I just have my bits of bobs that I pulled from my color drawers that coordinate. So I know I have a whole lot here, but I like to have choices and options and I don't wanna be getting up and going and hunting for things. So this is the plan and we will see how it turns out. So thank you for watching and I will be right back in just a minute to work on the layout. Okay, to begin with, I am outlining uh, the cut file on the outside edges and I'm going to cut inside the edges that I drew. That way it will roughly create the same shape and I won't have to do much trimming once I get this uh, attached. I do, I still, Generally, I still have to trim a little bit whenever I back a cut file this way, but it's, it makes it much easier. So I'm using my art glitter glue to uh, adhere all these pieces. It is a wet glue, but I find that it, it doesn't cause warping if you don't use too much of it. So I, I love this glue. I, every video I feel like I talk about it so I highly recommend it and I'm just trying to when I'm backing this cut file I'm using pattern papers that coordinate but that also have some contrast to them I don't I want it with the pictures that I'm using it's kind of a fun whimsical kind of layout so I want these it's a fair it's a fairy tale storybook layout so I want fun colors and since this is my granddaughter I want it to be kind of feminine and whimsical and I find that these colors all coordinated really well together I did end up pulling in as you will see this carousel from crepe paper Maggie Holmes collection I'm using some of these papers from this six by eight paper pad they coordinate, I feel like, almost perfectly. They have all the colors that I had originally pulled out, but I just found that as I was backing this, I wanted a little more uh, pattern and texture to this because my title is going to end up being gold, and a lot of these papers are gold foiled in this paper pad, so... I found they worked really well. So I'm not gonna make you watch me do this whole, back this whole file. So I cut to this part where I am showing you that I am lining each, the inside of each um, section with my fine liner pen. I just felt like it needed a little more definition And I like the way that looks. You just have to take your time when you're doing it because it's real easy. Even though you're tracing, it's real easy to go outside of the lines. And I did mark on my white uh, cut file a couple of times, but it's just something I'm gonna live with. It's okay. And then I decided I wanted, I, it needed more definition. I wanted it to stand out from the background paper that I'm going to use as you see there if I would have just left it the way it was it kind of would have blend it would have blended in more it I needed a contrast some way to kind of outline so that's why I chose to back it on this black uh, cardstock piece and to keep that black outline uh, I wanted to repeat that same kind of element throughout the layout. So I'm going to <clears throat> mount this whole layout on this black card cardstock piece. <clears throat> and I trimmed my, that paper or the book paper down by a quarter inch on two sides. 
and I mounted it on some foam adhesive. give it a little dimension so it's even it's it is even more pronounced than it was before I feel like so here I am matting my photo I've I put my fold photo in this frame and now I'm going to mat the frame and photo with some black cardstock And once I got this cut file backed with the patterned paper, that that took the longest. The rest of this comes together pretty easily because the cut file does most of the work for you. You don't have to make a ton of des design decisions because your biggest decision is already made. <laughs> That's the biggest element on your page. So I'm using these gold thickers to create my title. This says Adventures. And I'm using uh, a We Are Memory Keepers. It's four thickers to line up your title to keep it straight and even. I found it worked pretty well here. I, uh, that's the first time I've used this tool. And even using that tool, I still couldn't get it straight. <laughs> but that's okay. It looks pretty straight, I think now, but I, I fussed with it for a little while because I felt like it, I don't know if it was the way the the die cut was or the pattern papers or what's messing with my eyes like it just didn't seem straight to me so my complete title is going to be storybook adventures because we do this project every year just about she has the same project and this year it was more of a, an adventure because she did most of the work and usually in the past I helped, you know, I came up with the idea, but this year I was like, she's in third grade. So I kind of said, I want you to come up with your idea. What story do you want to use? What, you know, what character do you want to create? And so she came up with most of the ideas. I just helped with the hot glue and the mechanics of creating the horn, but she painted she did pretty much all i did help draw a little bit but she did the majority of the work and came up with the ideas so it was an adventure this year and i really i i enjoy this and i enjoy seeing her creativity and her coming up with ideas so it makes me happy so I wanted, I've had these unicorn piece, die cut pieces in my stash for the longest time and I was so excited to find a way to use them. This was the perfect layout so I ended up using three of them but just trying to figure out the placement. I really wanted to use that rainbow piece but I feel like there's so much already going on here that I end up not using that. There's just... I have a lot of stuff going on in this layout and I wanted to use all the things, but sometimes you have to scale it down. You can't use all the things or it just looks like a big mess, <laughs> which would have been the case with this layout. So I'm trying to, I'm determined that the, these unicorns are going to work and I just have to mess around for a few minutes to find the correct placement for each of them. And eventually I do and as you see there is a visual triangle of unicorns and that's where each of my embellishment clusters are going to live. One right there by the picture frame. 
um, and then the one at the top right of the book stack and one at the bottom left of the book stack. And I want to bring in some more of that gold from the thicker set. So there were some wonky stars on the thicker. So I'm going to put the stars in each cluster. And I'm thinking about journaling here, but that's going to end up changing where that journaling uh, label is. I will end up doing something a little different. And I have these Chamel shimmery hearts and stars and uh, dots that I end up using. I put about, I want one of each color in each cluster. Just to bring a little more sparkle in. And that little chipboard piece says shine and then the other one at the top says magical and I would use both of those. I think those came from the same collection that the unicorns came from the uh, I think it's simple stories. I can't remember the name of the collection. It's been a while. Okay, we are approaching the end of this video and um, layout process. I made a couple of changes off camera and I will go over those once the close-ups begin. Um, I changed the where I placed my journaling. I put it at the bottom. I put where the journaling was going to be. There is a label with the date sticker there. I also distressed around the edges and added a couple of more gold accents in each cluster. I added the little gold cluster dots. Um, but this is the end of the layout. Love how it turned out. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know when my next video comes up. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.